is not stopping. Yep. You tired and you later. I'll go to the toilet and try not to stumble Get upon another place, seal. Yeah. And um, um we've decided we're gonna catch a few yeah. herring. Will just hooked up first cast on the little outfit. Just some bait collection while the swell's up. I think chill down here until the swell drops and then we'll fish the back. Gustavo. That's the plan. I'm gonna put this camera away though because battery's low and stuff like that. But we're ready to go fishing. We came for a bit of a recon mission and found a nice ledge down there. Bit of a sketchy recon mission, but anyway, we've got all our rope and gear, so we're gonna abseil down and um, get set up on a ledge down there and go fishing. Hopefully we get some good fish. Which way are you going to go? Well, I'm going to kind of go... Oh, do you want to just go straight down? Yeah, I'll go straight down. Yeah, here. pretty much just go straight down. You can test the ropes, make sure they're all right. Yeah. Let's equalize this out. Don't try this at home, kids. Got to do it in the outdoors. Um, That'll do. That would do. Cool, I'll see you down there. Yeah. Nice casual fishing spot, you know? You sure this is safe? <laughs> you did that well. All right, my turn. This is a nice ledge, eh? We could probably bring our fishing gear down here. A what? Probably could bring our fishing gear down here. If we wanted to, to save running back and forth a bit. I don't know. It's supposed to get smaller now, isn't it? It is, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. See what's in there. Man, it looks so good, doesn't it? Leather jackets. Oh, no. Nah, they ruin your lures. Oh, if they get bad, it will be bait. <laughs> Leather jackets have ruined two plastics and a lob of bait out. Let's see what we can catch.
I just had to join up. I literally just landed and threw it there. We have a fish on the board, finally. I think I got a little bit of drone footage of it. Um, nice little king. Don't know if he's even size. Should we just chuck him back? Yep. That's how I release them too. I was gonna wait for the wave. Nah. That was a shambles when we did about that. Oh, kingies have no patience it for... It tiny, and then all of a sudden it woke up. Yeah. Oh, mate. Eating some delicious pilchards. Oh. Far out, they were disgusting. They were in my belly bag. Can't believe you just ate that. We are packing up, defeated. What we get? Oh, we got what? You got a kingfish, about this big. Come on, <laughs> it's so big. Anyway, we still got fish from yesterday, so we're just going to pack up, head up, and um, have some dinner. We don't know where we're fishing tomorrow. Yeah, we came, we tried, we didn't conquer, pretty much. <laughs> you get that. And this guy here, we made a friend. Did it. All right, back up at camp. Looks like we're having the same thing for dinner. We tried. There's a bit of chocolate there if you want some too. We tried, but we did not succeed so much today. Caught lots of herring. That's got to count for something. Mm-mm, grope of slime all over everything. And a good clean knife. Mm, you want some of that? Pick up that. Yeah, you pick up that. I'll just leave that there for you. you know, I might lick my fingers clean too, look at this. <laughs> Grow for slime. We just cooked a bit of kingfish up in this, which is smoking. I'm about to do some grow part. I just wanted to check if it had worms, but because it's flaking and it's good, clearly it doesn't. Mm. That. Good? Yeah, amazing. It's really nice, eh? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it didn't have worms. And, um,. Because if it does, like the meat, the flesh just goes all pasty and like rank. It's good sashimi though. I have had kingfish that's had worms with sashimi before. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with it as long as you avoid the parasites. It's not like the worms. That Someone's can, probably yeah. going to tell me on here now that yeah, you you're, get worms. you're screwed, <laughs> mate. You're screwed. Um, and I forgot to mention in the last video, I got new shirts. First batch of merch, so if you want one, there'll be a link in the video description. And um, yeah, be much appreciated if you want to grab one. And they help you catch fish anyway, see? Fully sick, it's got fish blood on it. Obviously they work. <laughs> they worked yesterday. They worked yesterday, not so good today, but you know. I'm gonna go a bit. Yeah, Bit of that. Bit of that there for you. Is this mine, is it? Or? Yep. I can't be bothered enough on it. Just, I'm just going to squeeze it out. Right. Got to get the full experience. Sunburn. Catching fish, catching sweet bug raw. Bit of everything.
And tomorrow catch some more fish. Big groper tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Big. Groper session to finish off tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. See you guys in the morning anyway. Oh, we're all packed up. Tent was there. Almost all packed up. Today is pickup day. The um, swell is down and the wind, wind is good right now, especially considering I'm right up the top and the wind's gonna pick up a little bit, but yeah, it's a long ride home in the boat. It's not the easiest place to get to, so. But conditions are looking good. Back we are, going to get a few crabs I believe. So what's the plan this morning, Will? Big, big day today. Big day? Yeah, we've been priming a spot. Got some big groper on the feed. Yep. Notoriously hard to catch. There we go. But uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna try and get a big one. Yep, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Should have heard him before I turned the camera on. <laughs> um, but yes, that is the plan. I don't think we really have been burling it that much, but um, <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna wander around the corner and see how we go. Um, can be notoriously hard to catch when they get to 30, 40 kilos. <laughs> Mate. Notoriously hard to land. Notoriously <laughs> hard to land, yes. You can hook them, but that's about it. Anyway, that's the plan. We got some crabs. Wander around. I've got my Mojo beanie back on, ready to go. I know one. Heavy outfit. 100 pound Taz line. Gotta do the talk up, mate. Um, just got a three way swivel flown around up there. And a, um, got running a circle hook. Doesn't really matter as long as it's a strong hook. And we get, we've already collected some crabs, so. Will's running like a PE5, PE6 setup, and I'm gonna go the heavy. Hopefully not bend this hook. I like to thread in through a leg socket. Come back out through a leg socket. Go through a leg. The legs are what hold it together normally. Done. Chuck that in. Just got to put a sinker on there, just to snap a lead or something. Set that drag. Ah. <laughs> Look at what you've turned me into. I'm fishing here, mate. All right, all right, all right. That's, my spot, mate. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna slide around over here. This is where the big fish are. No, nah, no, nah, definitely not. Only there. Come on. Yeah. Not big. Mm. No. Nah. These things. What's that? Leather jacket. Oh, no. They're actually supposed to be good eating, but I've never bothered. Pretty little fish. These are prize catch right here. These things. Pretty looking fish. Um, they're a bit of a pest though. They destroy my plastics because if you have a look at those teeth, that is why. You poke your finger in there, we'll bite the end off. Go on then. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. Oh, I can just imagine. Can you just picture it? 
He just bit that easy. It is cardboard. <laughs> it is cardboard. I don't have anything good, but anyway, chuck him back. Good riddance. I almost want to see what's up there, eh? Yeah, I'm tempted to have a look. It's just cool to know. You take the camera? Yeah, you're all good. I'll grab that. We're going to need it, definitely. Yeah, as long as it's safe enough. Like if you went in, you'd swim around, you could climb out is always helpful. If, if you can see that you can do that, then I feel a bit better about it. Yeah, I like the look of this. This looks good to me. I might just leave my camera up here. I'd almost want to bring my soft plastic out here. How much time we got? Don't know. Time to pick us up later now. <laughs> Let's see. This just looks like a groper hole to me. If there's no groper in here, then I'm just like, that's it. I'm done. Here we go. In the hole. Huh? K kind of, not super deep. It's a bit nice. It looks very nice. I might jump in for a swim. Did you, you got, see that? yeah, almost instant. Instant hit. <laughs> not, hit as well. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was I growth. Wasn't ready for that. Yeah. I took my bait, I reckon. I thought you were snagged. There's no yelling and screaming. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> It's gonna be. Man, this is really big. What is it? He's, your line's just there. Just watch out. Where is it? I haven't seen it yet. Probably a griper, but hey, I have not seen. Good thing we brought the gaff out. Come on, go, go, go while he's out, out wide. Whoa, he's got some power, mate. Far out. He's not stopping. Gotta be a big groper. Mate, I have not even seen him yet. I've seen you later. He did not show himself. Big fish. Come on. Whoa. It's 
could be your 20 kilo. Well, don't say that. <laughs> My arm. Keep it, try use it more straight. You'll be right. Bit of pump. Come on. Oh, that's a big blue, mate. That's a big fish, man. <laughs> you got your 20 kega. Far out. That is the most <laughs> epic fight. Far out. Yeah. That was under the lead. Yeah. Far out. Oh. Do you think he'll release? Yeah. I gaffed him, but like, he seems all right. All right, I'll get my good camera. Give him a big hug. <laughs> that is a proper fish. You got the worst background right now. It's all white. Just gonna go. Huge groper. We're going to release him because even though I gapped him, he seems fine. He seems all right. All right, let's go for the release. Where? Probably down and straight off where I gapped him. Come on, buddy. Go. Go. Cheers, bud. I, I that that was good, eh? Trick of a lifetime, mate. Honestly. That was intense. That was fully, like, when he got me here, I was, thought it was gonna ping. Yeah. I might be actually. I'm on a rock. I think I think something was sitting on it. Yeah, I'm on. I had bites and then that was it and it sat on it. It's not very big. Oh. Yeah, I reckon that's an eater. He has swallowed my hook all the way down and just sat on it. Yeah, that's what I said to you. I didn't really get a bite. I was like, I couldn't watch out. And then I went to lift it just to move the lead. Yeah. I think that one I had just sat on it. It was really odd. Yeah. He seemed, I had bites before and I was just waiting for some more bites. And I was literally like, I'm just going to wind it in now. And then I was like, I could feel that it was sort of snagged at the same time as there was a fish kicking on the end of it. That's well, yeah, it's we got a green one. Okay. Foam coming out. There we go. Well, I got a groper. This trip seems to be, I catch all the nice little eating fish and uh, we'll get all the big trophy fish. <laughs> but that's all good. Got some fillets to take home. Might have another cast or two, see if we can get one more small one for Will. Other than that, we'll, um, we'll head back and start packing up very soon. Woo. Straight armed enough? Hey, <laughs> oh, it's 30 kilo. It's 30 <laughs> kilos, isn't it? <laughs> Good work, man. Cheers. Yep. <laughs> that was such good footage. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, 
That was hilarious, sorry. I, I just see the tap, time. tap, tap, and you just, and then just. I think it's home time. Yeah, that'll do. We're done. I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that. Oh, no. But that was a good fish. That was a big fish, though. He had some go, eh? He was fired up. We're going to head back and um, what you get on your braid. I think he went through the ledge down there. He just went straight over it yeah. and got you. Yeah. Cut off. We're going to head back. We got one groper to take home. Actually, we got one and a half to take home and a kingfish. So, that'll do. We'll add one last crab with one last crab, one last cast with the last crab and just got absolutely obliterated. As you saw, we just had a little scope around the back for any future trips possibly. But um, it is like the best weather today, but it's also gonna blow its guts out tomorrow. So we got a bail. The boat will be here to pick us up in a couple of hours. So we're gonna head back and um, get ourselves organized, fill with that groper. Epic trip though, bit quiet yesterday yeah. but um will got his first ever land based kingy which is probably going to take him a while to beat at i forget what it was but like 1.1 meters smidge over i might have recorded the length i can't remember and then a pb groper so um it's going to be a trip hard trip to uh top i reckon eh yeah. anyway thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one